Hi guys, it's your girl B. Michelle coming at you with another Dollar Tree DIY. This video is a request from a subscriber that wanted me to build a do a tutorial on a glass table using elephants. She also had a request for lions and tigers, but she wanted them done separately. So I'm using the picture frames and I started by taking the backing off of the frame and I'm hot gluing the glass down to the frame because I am using the glass in this um, since she wanted it to be a glass table so I'm using the glass in all of the frames so once you glue it down you just want to make sure that it's secure so you want to go ahead and do that with all of your frames so this is something optional you do not have to do these steps here but I also use the four pack of the little uh, glass bowls that you can get from the Dollar Tree and I'm adhering two of those bowls together just to give it a little bit of height and I'm going to um, I want to I'm sorry you're going to use the fix all to adhere these together and you can sit that to the side and also I use this candle holder this um, candle holder was already used in a, a previous project so it was already spray painted I'm pretty sure it was probably Krylon or Rust-Oleum uh, metallic so I'm just going to adhere these together this was just to give it a little bit more height this is optional you do not have to do these steps here um, and I'll show you what I'm going to use it for in just a moment but I'm taking um, one of the frames and I'm also these little tabs that's in the frame you can actually just wiggle these out you can use pliers to wiggle it out if you want to I just use my fingers they come out really easy also going to take some east I'm sorry take the fix all glue and I'm in here in mirrors all of these steps here are optional you can do the mirrors if you want. You can go without the mirrors if you want. These are all optional. So I removed the little tabs off of the back of the mirror. And I'm using some of the fix all, just putting on the four corners. And I'm also going to follow up with the hot glue. So once you put the hot glue, you just want to place it in the center of the frame, center as, as much as possible, and put something down on top to add some extra weight. So here, this is where I'm building up the case itself. So I'm taking the fix all and I'm laying a layer of the fix all on along the longest side of the picture frame. Now, I stood mine up. Um, I put the longer side. I used the longer side of the frame, but I when I joined it, I used the shorter side of the frame. I don't recommend that you do that. I did it that way because I was actually going to do this a different way. Um, then it actually, then I actually did it, but I was planning on doing something with some more mirrors. The reason why I stood it up and I thought I wanted mine to be a little bit taller. So I stood it up with the shorter end connected to this longer end. So this part is optional, but I was doing this to create a second shelf to put like a shelf in between, um, because this is a display table is what I'm calling it display slash glass table so it is optional you do not have to do these steps you can just have um, build up the frame the frames and you can display on the shelves that you build but this is to have a shelf in in between so this is where the five by the five by seven frame comes into play and I added a mirror to the bottom as well as the top and the reason why I added it to the bottom, because when you're using mirrors and everything is reflecting, I didn't want the paper or the back of the mirror. I didn't want all of that to be seen. So I placed a mirror on the bottom of the five by seven, as well as the top. And I'm just placing it in the center of the frame. So once I hear everything together, when the mirrors, when you can look down into the display, you'll see the reflection of mirror only and not the back side of the mirror. So that's the only reason why I did it that way. Like I said, all of this is optional. Do it however you want to do it. This is just how I did mine. So, um, and you want to do these kind of beforehand. Um, I actually forgot to do those steps on a couple of those. And I had to do it afterwards. And you don't want to do it that way because it may not hold as well. So you want to go ahead and do this beforehand. But basically I'm peeling out the little the little tabs off the back, the little, I guess like felt or whatever that is on the bottom. 
and adding some arm glue and I'm going to adhere those down on the top as well as the bottom. So it should look like this. And I'm just placing it in here to see how it's going to fit. Um, it seemed like it fits really snug at first. Um, but once you get ready to place your top frame, um, it's not going to fit as snug. Um, so I just placed it on there. But I actually, I got to use the fix all. And I was just trying to see how it fit there. But I lifted it back up to use the fix all and the hot glue so I can adhere it down. And you may want to, um, because it doesn't fit as snug as it appears right now, because once you put the top layer, it, you have to stretch it out just for the top layer to fit. Um, you may want to put like a layer of diamond wrap or um, something, maybe a, a layer of diamond wrap on the outside of the frame that I'm placing down now so that it can kind of touch the sides of the glass because once that top frame is laid, it's not gonna fit as snug as it did before I put the top frame. And I don't know what happened on this part. I was recording and the camera just went completely black. So I don't know, it just missed recording me, stretching this out to um, put the top frame on there. But I did have to bend it out some just for the top layer to fit on there exactly. So basically I put some hot glue and the uh, fix all on the bottom part of the frame and I adhered it to the tops of the other two frames. So this is where I forgot to put the mirror on the bottom of the frame. So I'm having to um, adhere it from this angle and like I said I don't recommend um, doing it this way but I forgot to do it. so. I had to go ahead and um, put the glue on there and glue it this way. And I was trying to find something to help hold it up there. I didn't have anything that was the right height to um, sit up against it. So I was trying to prop it up some kind of way. So I found some things and I kind of actually had it propped up to make sure that mirror stayed in place as so I can continue working. So this part, I'm just trying to um, bedazzle out my elephants. Um, this is optional as well. And elephants altogether is optional. This part is not even necessary if you don't want to do this at all. Um, so this is just to fill the requests of the subscriber. So I added a layer just so I can have the elephants. So I'm taking uh, this square um, rectangle shape square shape glass here that I picked up from the Dollar Tree and I filled it with some of the rocks from the Dollar Tree as well as some um, the gems from the Dollar Tree and I just filled it with that and I'm placing it placing some uh, fix all in hot glue and I'm just going to adhere it to the mirror this is to give it a little bit more height um, instead of placing the next frame on top of the um, the elephant's um, ears. I wanted to just have something else instead of placing it on their ears. Just um, use this to um, have something for the frames to sit on. So basically now I'm just taking the elephants and I'm gluing them down to the frame. So the front feet um, are touching the outer part of the frame, the top of the frame. So I have it sitting on top and then just a just a little tip of the mirror, barely touching the tip of the mirror, the back feet are touching. So I just put a little dot of glue on the tip of the mirror, on the corners of the mirror, because it's barely even touching it, but I did put a little bit there. So like I said, that is optional. And I'm taking the fix all and I'm running a layer around the top of this um, vase. This part is optional altogether. You do not have to do this, but I thought I wanted mine taller, so this is what I'm doing. And also trying to ad adhere, trying to add the elephants into this display as well. So you just want to make sure everything is straight. And then I added um, the mirror on the top and the bottom. And I'm adding um, another candle holder here 
this is to build up another layer so this layer is going to be just like the bottom layer except for on this layer this is where I said the bottom I should have done the bottom um, like the top layer but you'll see in just a second so anyway I'm just adding some um, some glue to the top of the frame I'm sorry to the top of the candle holder and I don't know why I didn't have the camera up high enough for you to see this but I'm basically um, laying another 5x7 frame this is basically the same thing as the bottom except for I'm laying this where it can be shorter where it's of um, 8 by 10 I'm laying the longest width with the longest width instead of making it taller you'll see it's a little bit shorter so I put the glue on the side of the frame so both of the sides will meet up and there's no extra space um, on the base part of the frame basically it's just repeating the same steps over adding a layer of the fix all to the um, sides of the frame just the longer sides and following up with the hot glue to adhere the top piece and you may have to stretch out the um, two side frames so the top piece can fit so you just want to place it on top and make sure that both sides are sitting directly on the tops of the other two frames that's sitting up. So on the tabletop, this part, um, this part was really not like I expected it to be. The frames did not meet, um, they did not really connect side by side. It's like maybe something had a curve in it or something, but all four frames did not touch the way I expected them to touch so I added some fix all to um, the side and to two of the sides just to join the four pieces together because this is the tabletop and it did it just did not um, join together well so I tried and tried to squeeze those together it just wasn't working that well so I put them together and I basically had to take um, some craft sticks and place on the bottom so I tried to force these together but they were still leaving gaps it's like all four just did not connect together it's like two will connect like I can have two side pieces connecting but all four just would not join together so I'm just taking this picture frame and I'm adding a layer of hot glue on the shorter parts of the frame and I'm just laying it across the top of the frame I didn't put a mirror on it or anything um, this is just to give it a little bit more support when I place the tabletop and I'm actually not going to glue the tabletop down um, if that's what you want to do if you want to uh, have more of a permanent table um, you can glue the tabletop down but I chose not to do that plus it's easier to move without the tabletop so I did not glue that down it's just something I just place on top um, to show you in the display so um, you can move this around but you do have to try to grip it from like the first layer um, with the extra weight that I put in there I wanted to grab it from one of the lower layers instead of trying to grab it from the top um, because you do have the extra weight and these are just picture frames and glass so um, basically and it's not really thick glass it's thin glass with it came in the frames so with all the extra weight that I added adding the mirrors and those and the vase and the candle holders it, it put extra weight on this so it is a fragile very fragile project this is not going to be for everyone so I don't need your comments about what you don't like so this is something that I'm doing for my home and the request of um, a subscriber so basically that's it I'm not trying to be ugly I know I can't satisfy everyone nor am I trying to satisfy everyone so thanks for watching if you haven't already subscribed to my channel please go ahead and do so and hit that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any content that I upload thanks for watching thanks for all of my new subscribers and until next time bye oh and also like comment and share thanks Bye.